Welcome back to Deeper Inside Project Democracy. In episode one, we looked at the beginning steps in creating this project. Now, let's go back into the five galleries that make up the American Democracy Exhibit. We have augmented each with significant local objects, information, and historical facts. We call these our North Carolina Points of Change. Gallery one is called The Great Leap. It starts pre-1776, and it centers around the formation of government based on the people. Our first North Carolina point of change looks at the local sacrifices for liberty. We concentrate on the Battle of Alamance in 1771 and the Battle of Guilford Courthouse in 1781. The sacrifices we learn about include Arthur Forbes, who gave his own life for that liberty. His cap, worn that day, is now on display here. But our history would be woefully incomplete if we didn't also include the brave women who gave so much of their own lives. We relive their often sad and heroic stories through the living history of Guilford County pension records. Gallery two is called A Vote, A Voice. Voting is the cornerstone of our representative democracy. This area tells the story of the fight for and the blood often lost for the right to vote, the right to have a voice. We include two North Carolina points of change here. The first is about North Carolina Supreme Court Justice Henry Fry and his own struggle for that vote when he tried to register on August 25th, 1956 and had to face a racist literacy test specifically designed for failure. The second point of change goes back to November 10th of 1898. This is the story of the only known coup d'etat of an elected government in our country. This is the story of Wilmington, North Carolina. Now we move over to the next room and into Gallery 3. This is called The Machinery of Democracy. The rise of political parties and the media of campaigning gave life and form to the ideas in the Constitution. By 1840, elections featured relentless and consistent political messaging and political imagery. Our two points of change here looks at Richard Nixon's visit to Greensboro shortly before his debate with John F. Kennedy. The second looks at the brilliant but highly controversial use of media by North Carolina Senator Jesse Helms. But here I want to add a third point gerrymandering. This issue is touched on in the American Democracy Exhibit and we expand on it in our interactive area connection point. Gerrymandering remains a key topic of partisan politics both in North Carolina and throughout many other states. Gallery 4 is beyond the ballot, the right to petition. As James Madison and others devised, we put our faith in representatives we elect to carry our voices forward. When they do not, we solve that issue with the next election. But in between those elections, we can still use our voice in the forms of petitions and peaceful protests. Our point of change for this section examines a sea shift in North Carolina politics that occurred on January 5, 2013. For the first time in 143 years, Republicans fully controlled the North Carolina government. Some of the laws and policies enacted by this new government sparked large protests in Raleigh and statewide. Finally, Gallery 5 looks at creating citizens. Fulfilling the ideals of American democracy requires defining the people and determining the meaning of citizenship. If anything has been at the forefront of today's political issues, it is this. Who are we, the people? How diverse should the citizenry be? Do we need a shared national identity? And what are the rights and responsibilities of citizens? These are tough and emotionally charged questions. They are not new to this country in the last four years, but they are often at the very heart of that which makes us Americans. Our final North Carolina point of change goes back to the very beginning our country's first immigrants, whose descendants would help establish American democracy, met the first people whose fight for their own rights continue today, Native Americans. Thank you for spending some time with us here. We appreciate you and our democracy depends on you.
We will be taking more in-depth looks into many of these issues, both in our future North Carolina Democracy exhibit and in upcoming episodes of Deeper Inside Project Democracy.